Ready to die. Let me turn that up. Let me turn that shit up. Can you hear yourself? Yo, yo. Turn them shits up. Yo, yo, is that that's the wrong one? Hold up, hold up. No, that's the right one. Hold on. I, I can hear you loud and clear. Yo, 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 yo. Is that? Yeah, I can hear me. All right. I can hear me. I can hear me. I can actually t- duck my headphones a bit. That's Turn how loud you are. Down. Turn this shit down. Turn this shit. You hear that? Yeah, I can hear. I my can water hear. has like a perfect frappe on that shit. Frappe? Oh, dude, you got you got a little ice on that. Yeah, right that's like if you put a uh, if you put white wine in the freezer, then you get little flakes of ice in that bitch and uh-huh. serve it. It's a frappe. Frappe. I hope I'm right. Oh yeah, this is awesome. That's good. Yeah, I oh, like, I, like shit. When, I like when it happens like that. Sometimes it comes out of my water dispenser like that, like just straight like cold. Yeah, drops in the bottle. It's real nice. I told you about my end of the world water fucking uh, filter. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. gets out everything. It's pretty impressive. That's it, uh, yeah, that's just pretty cool. So if shit goes down. I'll be able to piss in that, and then I can drink my own piss. In a zombie apocalypse, you can piss in your your filter, your water filter. Yep. I can catch rainwater, mud puddles, fucking anything. And as of right now, the government won't be able to control my mind with fluoride. Ah, yeah, because that, that's a big, that's a big. Uh big thing right there's no there. fluoride or arsenic in my water and i think you're gonna i think you're gonna notice a big change in me you're not gonna be able to control. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be way harder to do mind control on me and <laughs> the in the weeks to come once i get all the fluoride out of my system and mm-hmm. then i'm i'm on a fluoride free a fluoride free water diet at the yeah. house it's kind of ironic that you know like something like this would do that you know what I mean? Like something something like that, like, you know, like a filter, like, because you were told that this was this kind of thing, and, you know, you I'm were told te- yeah. that the, that it would well, break I figured, down all this kind of shit, you know? I figure that there's scientists out there that would be whistleblowing if this was not the case. If, yeah. it, if, if my Berkey brand water filter was not as good as it says that it is, yeah. which it's hard for me to believe because there's a lot of filters going on. There's a lot of filtration processing mm-hmm, that is happening mm-hmm. in my water shit. And it, it's it's kind of it's kind of new too because uh, like I, I know all the other shit is just handheld. It's water bottle like you know for motherfuckers out camping or yeah. that just you know can't get to clean water. This is next level. So this, now you got it to cut parasites. I was thinking about parasites. I think. It would be good for weight loss to get a worm, and you could just eat whatever you want and yeah. then lose weight. Yeah. yeah. Why don't they do more of that? Or food poisoning regularly. Well, see, food poisoning, you're uncomfortable. A worm, you just have a little a little living worm, and then when it gets too big, you just pull out of your butt and then get a new worm. Yeah, or you just yeah you just shit it out. You don't want like a giant worm because it could take take over your body. Mm-hmm. And then like. Yeah, then it comes out with the intestines out your butthole. That's I'm not, saying it can take good. you out over your whole body, and suddenly, like you're doing whatever the worm tells you to do. We exercise an awful lot when there's worms out there, when there's parasitic mm-hmm. worms to eat our food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying, bro. I you, have you been watching a lot of like sci-fi lately? Why you say that? Is it because of parasitic no, worms? I'm just, I'm or? just asking. I'm just, I'm just asking. Nah, man. I've just wa- I've been watching Newsroom. I've been watching Newsroom. <laughs> nah, you, you seem like a little uh, uh, concerned with mind control and MK Ultra shit. You never feel, be honest, sometimes I swear to God, I feel like they just drop shit in the air to make me retarded. Because some days I'll be retarded. I'll be fucking, I'll be an idiot for no reason. And then everyone around me is a fucking idiot. Like, like everyone's super cloudy and not clear-headed. And something, I'm not saying it's happening, but if someone was to be like, we found out that they're dropping dumb juice in the air, like a fucking idiot dust. <laughs> you wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> You'd be like, I knew it. I'd be like, that explains a couple of those days where it's like, I'm fucking, I'm a dumbass. Yeah, I, I, think, it, I think it has to do with like sleep, bro. 
know what I'm saying? Like in a lack thereof, you know. They like might that's, be that's dropping why, like that last fucking episode. You know that last episode where I'm I keep dropping fucking uh, magnetic. You know don't what I'm be, saying? Oh, like, don't try to cop, please. My brain, my oh, brain. No, no, no. no this is real. Oh, whoa. this is real. Like yo, my I was out of it. I was out of it. You know what I mean? Like I didn't have my Red Bull. Didn't have. I needed my Red Bull. Are you gonna come with excuses every episode or just this one? Uh, uh, no, shit I'm, happens, I, I bro. Don't, I don't. I don't mainly drop excuses. Shit, you know what I'm sound like an excuse to me. You know, I uh, didn't get enough sleep because you know. And then I just said magnetic. That's right. Like, like, eight like times. yo, you don't think I know the difference between uh, uh, magnetic and magnetic, <laughs> right? I don't know what you know. I didn't know that magnetic wasn't a word. It it's seemed no, like a word. It's not a word. Why it's did you keep word. saying it then? Yo, I like because I told you, man. Sleep you know, deprivation I, I turned you, you into. You know what I'm saying? There, I got one guy, dog. I got one guy that's working an assembly line of words, and he's you know that's this is his job. He's he's really into like the perfect word for the perfect time and to say that shit. You know what I mean? And right then he hadn't had a lot of sleep. And his shit fried, and he just like, yeah, whatever, magnetic, man. You know like what I'm saying? That sounds three good. times magnetic. Yeah, he's got a lot of excuses. He, he kept hitting repeat. You might not have. You might not have it. repeat. There are no excuse buttons, bro. Well, I don't there know. I don't no even know why buttons. you're addressing it. What's done is done. No, I didn't. You brought it up. You I said. Up in, I said. In, in, I said. Like you know, sometimes you're just stupid. Yeah, and then you're like, cause last time magnetic. Like, I was stupid. It's been bothering you. Admit I was it. stupid. Admit it's been bothering you. It's been you. bothering you. <laughs> Yo, and see, and this is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. Is that nobody, nobody, now now cats will probably go back and listen to that. You know what I'm saying? But nobody saw that shit. You didn't even see it until I brought it up. I know. That's why I'm like just, yo, you know what it is? You're probably... I'm just used to saying idiot shit, and you just have to come to terms with you're going to say something dumb, yo, and then it's going to be recorded. Okay, so so these are the problems that I have. Okay, these are these are my things. You know what I'm saying? you don't want to be an idiot. You issues. don't want to be perceived as a dumbass. No, no, it's man. I, I don't give a fuck about you know like uh, uh, being wrong. It's 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 um it's um it's like uh, making a mistake at chess. You know what I'm saying? It's like you don't. It doesn't matter to you. It doesn't matter to anybody else. You know what I mean? It matters to me. Like I care. Like damn, I fucked up. Why don't you write about you know it in saying? your diary or something, dear diary? Today I wrote said to, magnetic today four I times. Fucked up. And then you and know? then a week later I had to explain that shit, myself. That shit bothers me, man. Like you know when I'm playing when I play when I play a game of uh, uh, chess and I I fuck up, you know, royally. You know what I mean? Like like that shit'll stick with me. As it should. Well, as it should. Yo, we all. That's the only way you can get better is if you have a critical look at yourself. Um, uh, like I told you, like I told you when I almost killed the family. Okay. What? Uh, what the member the the vehicular homicide that I almost. Oh yeah, yeah. You were you were crossing. Wait, explain. Yeah. Wasn't paying attention, right? I, I'm taking I'm taking uh dropping my girl off, and and uh, uh I, I come to an intersection. And on the right side, there's this uh, um, getting out of the street. There's there's a, a a woman holding a child, holding a baby, and there's her little boy following her. You know, still hanging out in the street, following her up onto the curb. And um, I'm paying attention to her. You know what I mean? She like looks back, looks at me, and that, then she's trying to usher him. I'm like, you need to keep him with you. You know what I'm saying? Like hold his hand or something. Like you know, maybe he should be in front of you. The whole time I'm thinking about this and saying this shit. You know, I'm not paying attention to the left side. So you're worried. You're more worried about how she's rearing her child yeah. than b about watching the fucking road. And and while I'm saying that, you know, all this shit takes place in a split second. And uh, while I'm while I'm saying that, uh, uh, Tone's like, well, watch out, baby. You know what I mean? And I almost killed uh, another family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 of uh, you know, it was a uh, it was a mother and her her two toddlers. Man. Well, the, the, also, you got to know where you're at and where you're turning is it's littered with. Cle clear your throat. Clear your throat. You just, <clears throat> there is you that go. better? Yeah. I couldn't even tell. We got to know where you're at and where, where you're where you're driving around. It's littered with um, 
babies and moms. But see, see, this is what I'm saying, though. This is what I'm saying, though. I know that, right? I know that, you know, during that So what that did time, you do? Did you go home and drink, a, have like a, a fifth of Jack? Like, it, I just almost killed a fucking no, Mexican no, it, lady. It, it, you know, like, I, I really think about that. It's like, yo, because in, in that split second, dog, in that moment, you know what I'm saying? I could have changed all of our lives. You know what I'm saying? In that split second. <laughs> yeah, but every, I think about shit every, like that. Yeah, but then it's like everything can be like that. Every split I know. second. I know, but yo, so so what I'm saying, so, once, so I should give no thought to it. Like, you know. No, you, you think about it and then you release it. Um, But see, no, what I do is, what I do, what I do is. Well, it seems like, to be working for you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Your fucking technique. Your technique seems to be working great. Well, yeah, you know, it's like I think about stuff like that, like, you know, like, yo, am I slipping? You know what I'm saying? Like, am I losing my shit? You know what I mean? Like, I, I really better start paying attention, you know, because, I'm, mean, you know, uh, and but that again, again, just like Magnetic, OK, to just air like Magnetive, But see, here's the problem. Here's the uh, problem. I hadn't slept that much. You know what oh, I'm saying? And I was tired. Copping, please. I was tired. Copping, please. Right. Dog. Maybe you should lock yourself in the house when you're lack tired. Lack of sleep. So, lack I'm, of sleep. It's, affects, mo it's more dangerous than being your drunk. operations. Man. No, you're right. You, right. you are right. Who I the know. fuck cares? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're walking around. I was tired. It's not you. Look, I feel you. I hear you. But I got to tell you, it's like, yo, it's eh, it doesn't. Yeah, it's like it's something that you just have to deal I'm, with. Judo, I'm not saying the shit matters. Right. I'm just having a fucking conversation. Right? I know. And I'm you having a conversation. up. Right. You I'm, brought this up. And about, about feeling stupid. And I was yeah. saying that I was saying that exactly. you know, part of the reason that, you know, no, I'm, but what happens. I'm saying, what I'm saying is this. It's like, yo, you got to let go of these things, because if you spend too much time thinking about what a dick you are and then trying to come up with excuses oh it's because i'm tired then poof you hit another fucking family because you're thinking you're not your your mind isn't in the game mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's all i'm saying i feel that it's like yo i feel you and and the worst is it's like i play backgammon right yeah and there's there's been times where i'm getting my ass whooped i play i'm playing poorly or uh you know i'm just or the guy's better than me i'm outmatched or maybe i'm just getting bad dice and I'm, I might luck up at the end of the game and win. Yeah. If you can't realize that you got lucky to win, you're never going to get better. You know what I'm saying? You, if you can't realize your good luck, there's no way that you can, there's no way that you can improve because you're like, man, I'm the shit. I'm winning every fucking game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's that same, so it's the same shit. It's like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta be able to look at yourself critically, but I'm not going to think about it for the next three games. Oh man, I was lucky. Oh boy, I was lucky. Man, I wonder why I was lucky. Well, I didn't get a lot of sleep the last two nights. I have been, yeah, I'm just got a stuffed up nose too. And, mm -hmm. and, and then you're not thinking about the next game. Mm -hmm. and, I'm trying to help you not kill Mexicans. And and you don't know they were Mexican. You don't know that they were Mexican. I'm just guessing. <laughs> they I'm were guess, Mexican. I'm guessing that there, there was some type of swam <laughs> over here to get here. Person. But, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, yo, yo, yeah, and I forgot Snuck to say. Snuck over in a minivan, ass motherfucker. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot to say that when she got up on the curb and, and we were bending the corner, yeah. she, she like crossed her chest. <laughs> <laughs> Adios mio. What is that? Uh, but, you know, you know, I mean, we we're both, we we're both at fault there. We we're both at fault there. You know what I'm saying? Like, she wasn't watching. Uh, uh, she didn't know. She didn't make sure that I saw her. You know what I'm saying? Before you step out in the fucking street, pedestrian. Okay, make sure that the driver knows that you're there because you're the one that's gonna pay. That's the realest shit ever. And the thing is, is people you don't have bumpers on you. I think we've talked about this before. Even yep. the bike riders, it's like, yo, you can have the right of way all you want. The right of way is not gonna put your head back together no. if once no. it when when it splits open on the concrete. Yep. So you got to be safe, and that's it. When I rode my bike, I, hey, I'm waving at every fucking person, pointing at them, waving, pointing, waving, because I like I like not being retarded. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I like mm -hmm. not being retarded. I don't want to be. I don't want to have a little straw to blow myself around in a wheelchair. Like, right. like that shit ain't cool. <laughs> and it, it, yo, it doesn't matter if you had the right of way if you're fucking dead. Yeah, driving a driving Crippled. a wheelchair with a straw. <laughs> When I, man, I was on my way uh, over here, man. Or yeah. I was actually on my way uh, towards 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 your cut, and uh, uh, there's that big hill over there, and um, there's a, a kid on a skateboard skating down the hill 
right? It's rush hour. Right. He's skating down the hill into oncoming traffic. Like a dick. Yo, if he dies, then he dies. Like, there, I say it time and time again. And the, there's not a people shortage. The only thing that's going to suck is going to make somebody's insurance go up. Because then yeah. you're going to, and then you got like all of a sudden you got a dead skater on your fucking record. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one thing I worry about is my damn insurance going up, right? Yeah. It's just like uh, the life's, I, maybe I would feel, I probably would feel bad, but you would. I, I think I might be able to justify the way I'm wired. I might be able to justify it if I felt like I was right. I don't think that. I don't think that. Um, you know, uh, the the guilt or you know what I'm saying would would trump like uh, your anger. You know what I'm saying? You're a real angry dude, so you would probably be like, "Fuck that kid! I'd be like, Fuck that skate! Why did you do this? Didn't you see me coming? Didn't you see me? Dumb shit! I'd be shaking his dead body. I'd be like, "Why are you on the wrong side of the road? Why did you make me kill you?" It's like when dudes beat their wives and shit. Why did you make me do it? (laughs) You know I get angry. You know this, Gina. That's not how I talk to mine. I tell them, you know I like doing this shit to you. Motherfucker. Well, so what did we learn? So to look both ways when you cross the street and that sometimes when you're tired, you're retarded. Yep. And that uh, to not focus on the past. Mm-hmm. But you, one must learn from the past and then let go. This is the truth. But and the thing is, is, I feel like if you hold on to, I'm not saying you, but like if a person holds on to that pain too much, then they're less likely to try new shit because mm-hmm. you're always you're always worried about getting hurt. You're like, oh man, like oh that shit sucked last time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I and I used to go through that, but I and I would make a conscious effort to like, ugh, like you you step out and you get smacked in the face three times and you're like fuck you know like god damn it I gotta keep moving forward but like I don't like getting fucked up but you gotta you gotta I'd have to like will myself through it yeah, yeah. so it, and and actually like I'm not I'm not trying to toot my own horn but like that's bravery bravery is when you're scared as shit. And then you just keep going. Like, that's being you brave. Do it anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. being brave. Not being scared is not bravery. That's just fucking, you're a badass. But being, to me, being brave. Well, yes, yeah, sociopath. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, I don't think Steven Seagal is afraid of anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's not afraid of sandwiches. He don't know better, too. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's awesome. Or oh, hair plugs. Yeah. <laughs> He's not scared of hair plugs. Yo, that guy plays. Oh, man, he plays. It's so long. He plays the blues, too. I guess he was at some cigar place out here in L.A., and he just, like, started playing the blues. What would you do if you were, like, hanging out and Steven Seagal just started playing the blues? <laughs> Pull the camera phone out, bro. It's time to, it's time to record. <laughs> God, that would be so uncomfortable. Uh, I hate when people sing to me. I just don't like it. I don't... Uh. There, yeah, there's... There's a time and a place. There's a time and a place. You know, like most times, most times, like you know, it, it's it's out of context, man. You know, I hate when when cats want to uh, 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 bust rhymes to me. It's the same. It's the same thing because you're forced to endure performance. I remember my my sister. I went up to visit her, and there was like this family of farmers because you know, Joelle like makes her like she can make butter. And she right. she had chickens. She would raise her own chickens and goats. She'll make goat milk. She'll milk a goat and then make cheese out of the fucking goat, goat milk. milk. Uh huh. So she's got this fucking. She's hanging out with this family of farmers, and there's like six of them. We're all around the campfire, and there, there's certain types of family. Like the Angelinis are an arguing family. The on my mother's side, the Lanes are uh, they have discussions, and then there's other families that are dancing families, other families that like to sing together, and this was a singing family, mm-hmm. and it mm-hmm. was, it was one of the shittiest campfires ever because the eight fucking kids sitting there just took turns 
singing songs from the eighteen hundreds. <laughs> it's like they you couldn't even sing along. They were singing songs from the eighteen hundreds. And I was like, fuck this fan you know, like like you selfish cunts. Like fuck you guys. What I gotta sit here and listen to you? And what are they what are they playing? Are they playing like acoustics? And it would be like yo Lutes and, and, No that was, that was, <laughs> It would be a cappella, right? And like we'd just be sitting there like um Enjoying, enjoying the silence. It'd be sil- it would, and it wouldn't be quiet even long enough to start a conversation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like one person would stop singing, and then um, it just be quiet for like a second. Then you just hear, "Oh Johnny, come and walk on down to the prairie <laughs> side." I swear to God, and I'm like, "What the fuck, dude?" Like <laughs> for fucking two hours. <laughs> For two hours, they made me go inside. Like, it was a cool little bonfire, and I was like, fuck these people, I'm going inside, you selfish cocks. <laughs> I hate that shit. Like, nobody wanna hear you sing. You gotta... It's like a concert. So you, you gotta know what to do in them situations. See, I, I would've I would have waited. I would've waited <laughs> until it died down again, and then I would've started up like Dig if you will the picture. <laughs> you and I engage in a kiss. Join in if you know it, y'all. <laughs> I guess I, maybe I should have done. Maybe it. I should have answered with a song. If I, I should have, I. It's like if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> ba 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 ran. Come on. Ba 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 ran. Come on. I, but I didn't. I went inside mad. <laughs> I went inside angry and left that fucking that. It was. I was just really. I was really upset because I felt. I feel like they. They. There were certain social cues that they just don't understand and like it's to me. It's rude to sing maybe one song, two songs is stretching it. But to me, it's rude to just come to a, a get together and your whole family puts on a show. <laughs> it's like, fuck your family. Right. Take that shit on the road, man. <laughs> you fucking Mormons. Yeah. They, yo, they were some type of they were some type of fucking Christian. Yeah. That's that's their way, man. That's the way. That's what they do. Oh, my God. You know? Singing ass families. Yeah, I, I, I can't, you know, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? My, my shit is, you know, like, you know, being a rapper, right? Like, everybody wants to freestyle, right? Like, hey, let's freestyle. Let's smoke this blunt and let's, freestyle. Let's freestyle. I'm like, nah, let's not, bro. Let's, <laughs> you know, I mean, I spend all this time rapping anyway, you know what I mean? And usually it's like right after I've gotten off stage. It's like you're tired. I just rap for forty five minutes, bro. I've I've just I've done it, bro. You know, I've done it. No, I don't want to sit here and you know and bust you know random stupid non rhyming party drunk bullshit with you. In a sense, I'm in a sense, in a sense list. <laughs> it's a sense. And yeah, there are some guys out there that are really good at freestyling. I've met the two of them, right? Uh, Juice, and, <laughs> you know. Uh, but but that's it. Everybody else is just a hobby drunk motherfucker that you know <laughs> high motherfucker that just you know hey that's is that beat on yeah. It's a motherfucking man in the motherfucking place. <laughs> I smack a motherfucker in his motherfucking Joe, let's, face. Joe, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, they always. What I'm saying is they always have their like one fucking like uh, bailout phrase that yeah. they put in every goddamn yeah. line and shit. Because like, I'm the man, and that's because <laughs> the motherfucker don't know the, the motherfuckers better watch where I'm ducking and diving. The motherfuckers <laughs> I'm jiving. <laughs> Like shut the fuck up, <laughs> you know that shit. This shit is just as annoying as like you know, um, like a, a spoken word. You know what I mean? Like the the rhythm of spoken word is what what kills it for me. Did you I ever know? tell you? Did I tell you? My, I think I told you this. Where uh, you know I'm fucking probably a year or two deep into doing Jenny Jones, and mm-hmm. what was the name of that fucking? It was like the Mocha Lounge or some place down in uh. It was some in in in, the in, shy? in Detroit. Oh, no, this was in Detroit. Oh, I know, I know where you're Cafe talking Mahogany. about. Cafe Mahogany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been through there. Fucking so, Cafe Mahogany. Stop me if I told the story. Uh, on, at least on the air. Um, mm. This dude's like, "Hey, man, will you do me a favor?" And I'm like, "What?" He's like, "Man, I host this 
uh, slam poetry shit at Cafe Mahogany. I'd love for you to come up to come up there and just say what's up to the people and shit. I'm like, all right, yeah, you know, I'm fucking open. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to be known. This is this is something new to me. I'm totally happy to be known. I'll go anywhere. Mm-hmm. I get there and it was just like a bunch of fucking fat dreadlock single moms. <laughs> 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 but like you know they got a babysitter for this night you know right, what I mean right, like right. they're fucking their, their cousins watching their three kids this is their night this is their night fucking uh Egyptian musk or whatever the hell burning all throughout all, all types of shitty mm-hmm. shitty uh shitty incense and they're wearing oils and stuff and the yo know, the the afrocentric Detroiters Back in the day, I don't know about now. They might be a little more accepting. They weren't. They did not fuck with white people. No, 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 no. You you know that was that time. You know that, right? Yeah, this they, was not nowadays where everyone get along type shit. They did not fuck with white people. So I rolled up in there, and it was like some chick was re- like fucking complaining about men. <laughs> <laughs> you love me, you leave me. I need you, deceive me. <laughs> but don't. But don't <laughs> my wall, my heart's on the wall like graffiti, <laughs> and I was like, oh shit! And I'm so I had to get up there. He's like, we got rude Jude in the house, and literally like three claps. <laughs> <laughs> I get on stage and I'm like it's great to that you guys are pursuing your dream. <laughs> uh, good luck to you. And they're all just staring daggers at me. And then I quickly get off the stage and let them continue on with their poetry. And if, I didn't never like slam poetry, but I, that shit just made me hate that shit forever. I was yeah. like, fuck that shit. Yeah, I I've never had anything. I mean, the the time that I, I went to the same place. Uh, you know, they they wanted us to get up and and uh, you know bus acapellas, uh, but it's it's just not it's it's not the the same for me. You know what I mean? It's what, just, was this recent or was this no? Back this in the day? is back in the day. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like this was when like the real slum was still popping and everybody was still alive. The real slum village. Yeah, the real slum village. Not like. T three and twenty other new guys. Yeah, not you know the temptation style. <laughs> not the <laughs> Menudo. <laughs> not my fucking twenty different new members. <laughs> it's uh the I've I've and I've been noticing this. You know that there's like uh, Dilla's uncle is doing Dilla's delicacies. Jay Dilla. No, no. It's just people, and I'm sure Jay Dilla when he's alive, I'm sure he'd be fine with his uncle opening up a place after his name he might even be honored but like come on man come on i want you to do well uncle of jay dilla but like everybody's like the the whole damn family is is it's there's like a chuck wagon attached to this guy jay dilla and they're all eating off of him there's way too many detroiters eating off of jay dilla and it just it needs to stop you know his corpse you know what i'm saying it's like if if cats would have repped him at all you know half as much as 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 they do now when he was still alive you know what i mean like it really would have been a movement oh you yeah know? it really would have been something something uh, uh powerful but you know all the the dead dick sucking man like this shit is crazy to me man i just don't like it when anybody does it. jay-z and uh jay-z and nas with tupac Mm-hmm. Like Tupac dissed you right. on records and then right. got shot shortly thereafter. Right. Why are you covering his songs? Right. Why are you all on his record? You putting? Why are you putting? You know, like uh, Phantom verses on your shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's like fuck you. Pac didn't like you. <laughs> Pac he, didn't like you. I don't care how much his mom rented his fucking voice out to you said? for, man. He didn't like you. He, Stop. He dissed the whole East Coast. You know what I'm saying? He like, was cool with boot camp. He was cool with Wu Tang. He was cool. With, he was cool with like a lot of members. He dissed them. Yeah, by name. Yo, yeah. He said your by fucking name, name, dude. Name, right now. And let's let's okay. Let I want to differentiate here. Okay, he dissed you. He said fuck you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck you. And he said your name. You know what I'm saying? Like. Not this Kendrick yeah. Lamar shit where I just say some names. Oh, yeah. You it's, know. And basically, I'm going to try. <laughs> hey, 
Th- these are the people. These are my contemporaries. I'm going to try to be better than you. Here are some names of some people that are making music today with me. Drake. Uh, Big Sean. J. Uh, Cole. J. Is Cole. One. Uh, Nas. Jay-Z. And uh, I'm trying to do better than them. <laughs> and that's my rap verse. And everybody's like, oh! He oh, turned rap on its head. Oh. <laughs> it's like a motherfucker. I, and I broke it down similar on the show. It's like a motherfucker that ain't had pussy in a while, gets a hand job, and they're bragging. You know yeah, what I mean? It's yeah, like, bro, yeah. you think that's a diss? That's not a fucking that diss. not a fucking diss. You though. guys haven't heard any good, you guys haven't heard anybody relevant in rap have a fucking battle about anything that mattered in so goddamn long. That any type of name dropping, you're fucking like, oh, it's crazy. You know? He's a he's a bright dude. He was smart. That was a very smart, well thought out way of going about things. Because he got everybody talking like he knew he would. Mm-hmm. And when the rubber hits the road, he didn't diss one person. No, not one. Not one. I wish he would, not but one. he didn't. You know what I'm saying? Not one. He didn't. You know, he didn't say anything bad about anybody. You no. know what I'm saying like you know. In the, in the least bit, I'm gonna try to be better than all of y'all. <laughs> like I hope so, man. Like this is yo, it's uh, we're naturally competitive, yeah, and you know. one should try their your hardest. <laughs> That's it, you know. And, and but like and like you said too, man. You know, like how how many cats have had like a real a real beef? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, like a real real rap beef. Cube and N.W.A. Like they're breaking up. There's money involved. Yeah. They're upset. Motherfucking uh, Common Cube. Common and Cube got mad. At, you know, Cube got even that was kind of like what? Well, eh, you yeah. know, it's like oh, what you got mad that he said something about I used to love her. It sent some referred to you guys and yeah. I used to love oh, her and you took but, it the wrong way. Yeah, I'm, but I'm talking about the songs that were made behind the shit. You well, know I'm, what I'm mean? saying both. You know what I mean? Like it's. Half of the beefs nowadays, it's just like, he didn't say hi to me. <laughs> like, uh, he didn't acknowledge me. Yeah, he didn't say hi to me. Now I got a diss record. Or <laughs> or it's like two guys that don't matter. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Or one guy's battling another guy that doesn't matter. Yeah. That's with the, with the Kendrick shit. Only motherfuckers that had something to say were irrelevant motherfuckers. People that weren't even named on their album, and then it made them look even worse. Yeah. Like, just shut the fuck up and stay out of it. I know you really want to... I know you want to come in and defend New York's honor, but New York is a goddamn shadow of, of itself. And yeah. You haven't been relevant, or New York hasn't been relevant since I don't know how long. You know, you you have you have no one. I was yeah, I, and it bears repeating, but New York hasn't been relevant since Jay Z dropped the album, and they weren't relevant since Jay Z dropped the album before that, and they weren't relevant since Jay Z dropped the album before before that. that. Like, yeah. y'all ain't shit no more. Yeah, and it's gotta suck as a New Yorker, like to come from such. New York Greatness, is kind of like yeah. a, New York is kind of like America. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. man, we were the shit, and now we just brag about being the shit, but not <laughs> are really not the shit. <laughs> Remember when when people are like America's number one? I'm like, have you ever been anywhere else? You fucking idiot! <laughs> like, I like America the best. I live here. I'm a patriot. You know what I'm saying? But like, let's be real. We got a bunch of fat idiots that live out here. Soft ass pussies. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We're not number one. We love to we love to think that we are, you know what I'm saying? And if if there's anything that we we love to do above anything else, man, we love to complain. You know? I mean, that's our whole show right there. <laughs> <laughs> our whole show is fucking we just shit out. We just talking about all the shit we didn't like. <laughs> I think for the last 30 minutes we just fucking complained our asses off. You know? What uh, do you What do you what do you mean they like to complain? Uh did you get enough sleep? Yeah, I got plenty of sleep. <laughs> I got plenty of sleep, uh, and I got a Red Bull today. Oh uh, no! Oh. What, what, what I'm talking about, man, is like is like we we uh, we we don't know how good we got it, you know, because we've never like, like like you said, we've never been anywhere else. But we're also, never, we're never going anywhere else. We don't know how bad we got it, you know. Compared to what, right? Well, we don't know. Was, That's what I'm saying. They're like, "Yo, man, we got it so." It's like we got it so good. Yeah, we're being monitored by the government. Everyone's like on tons of drugs. It costs a shitload of money just to to fucking pay your rent. Mm-hmm. There's no jobs anymore. And that's man, dog. When it when is it? When hasn't it been like that? Fifty years ago, when after uh, World War II and the middle class was growing. We were doing pretty good. And then even before that, when we weren't doing awesome and there was slavery and shit. Yeah. 
I would have been was, awesome. I would have been good. doing good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been doing good. <laughs> no, but even that, that there was uh, government had less of a hand in things. You know what I mean? States had more rights, it seems. Mm-hmm. Which, mm-hmm. which, uh, but yeah, obviously the system was flawed since yeah. since you were Man, owning it's, people. It, it it has been. You know, it has been. Like you, you were telling me. Uh, you were telling me. You were telling me. Uh, like today is the. What is it? It's the. F- Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday was, was the, the anniversary, fiftieth anniversary. anniversary of the "I Have a Dream" speech. Yeah, right. What do you think about that? There. Um. Uh. What? What'd you say? Sears' answer was. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to take Sears' answer and fucking chop it and be like, "This is who you got me with, right here." This fucking. He was like, "You know, what I'm saying because I was saying blah blah blah." He didn't say shit, which sucks, dude. <laughs> Why does the white guy have to have a concise answer about fucking black people on on the show? Because I can't really all the way relate, but like as an outsider, it looks um, on paper uh, certain things look better and other things look worse. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, well, you know that's that's how it goes most times, man. You cats have more to say about us anyway. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we're, we really don't we really don't uh, uh, rep ourselves the best. You no, know? no. I, I've always said that black people need a better publicist. This is true. You know, this this is true. They got to see who the Jews are using. To fuck. You know, we <laughs> we that shit, bro. you know like they they fucking crush it. In, in that in that we're like America. You know what I'm saying? Because you know we're only interested if we have something to gain from it. You know what I'm saying? Like if we can use it. If there's something yeah. out of it. You know what I mean? But like we gain nothing from saying like you know like hey, well that speech happened fifty. Years ago, right? And does I'm, am I gonna get my forty acres and mule out of this? If I say this, no, oh, well. Anyway, I mean the fact that you would <laughs> even bring up forty acres and a mule is kind of like, <laughs> yeah, good luck, bro. <laughs> Let me know how that goes. Let oh me, nah, man. We're when, not, when has like when I don't when has the when has the winning team ever gave anything back? The only time people give shit back is when 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 you lose the war. Mm-hmm. And then someone else comes and is like, you have to pay these people back. But if you fucking won, like, they're not giving back shit. Right. And you answer to no one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you right. answer to no one, then, you know, there's nobody to say, like, hey, you got to give these people this. Yeah. You know? But, uh, uh, and then people get mad about Columbus Day. Like, get mad. Oh, Columbus Day. And this. I'm like, man. Go get a job, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Read a book. <laughs> You're mad about Columbus Day. Well, if it wasn't for Columbus, then blah, 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 then all the Indians would be alive. Is that so? <laughs> Is that so? Nobody else would fucking take a, come over here and whoop their asses? Get the fuck out right. of here. Yo, and that, man, that is the fucking world, man. That is the world. And, you know, just like uh, just like you began this uh, uh, at the beginning of the hour, talking about letting go. You know, and and I I think that that is the case, man. That that is the case with I'm you know I'm I'm not saying like oh, fuck Martin Luther King uh, or anything like that. I'm saying like how long do we need to be hung up on these things? I think being hung up and remembering is two different things. So I they are. I I feel like one should remember all of this shit, and uh, you it's important to know your history. It really is like. History is your culture. Like, you need to know this shit. You need to know what the fuck happened. This is truth, right? This is truth. But how does the how does the I have a dream speech armor me in any any kind of way? How does it arm me in any the in it's any way It's not about today? arming you. It's, and, a, it's it's about that was a that was a that was a keynote speech. That was a speech that helped change the turn the tide in uh, in black people's lives in in America's lives. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, and they and it's more like this is it's more like this was a benchmark moment and where where have things gone yeah, from then? Of course, of course. The same same with the uh the uh Obama election. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this was a benchmark moment um, where where have things gone from then. You know, but that and, and of course of course like you know, me saying the Obama election and the, the I have a dream speech or the civil rights movement, these are two completely different things, right? Two completely different periods, you know, of course it, it's not going to happen at the that time you know what i mean um uh and so in that way in that way they're you know they're separate right they're separate they have have nothing to do with each other and and that's what that's what i kind of think um uh 
black folk are today. You know what I'm saying? What it's like mean? we're we're you know we're so removed from that time. You know what I mean? Where you have to you have to deal with us. You know what I'm saying? Or we have to deal. Uh, we have to come from another handbook. You know what I'm saying? Like, I disagree. I, I I find that I find that you I find that the race plays a major part in with black people still to this day. Uh, yeah, dog. I mean, uh, so but, it's but like, only because more only, so than any other group. Why? Right? Why? Because where it, it's conditioning, man. It's conditioning and it's programming. You know what I mean? It's the things that have have been put on us and the you know the atrocities that you know we've suffered and you know the, the right. shit since then. You know that shit is ingrained in us now. You know, uh, but um, uh, I don't think I don't. You know, and I've said this before. I don't think the uh, the way forward is 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 the way back. You know what I'm saying? But because the way forward to to continue forward, you have to acknowledge the back. And I don't feel like a lot of people, I think, I feel like a lot of people have a hard time acknowledging the back. They want to forget the back. They want to forget uh, about slavery and oppression and this and pretend like the shit didn't happen. And, and, and yo, because it might be embarrassing. I don't know. It might be a hard, it might be a hard pill to swallow. Like, is it, is that it hard is. to look at? It is. So, yes, yeah, like, it yo, is. I mean, because but you got to be able to look bro, at it. Bro, uh, uh, Every time I, I, you know, see shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I watch fucking Rosewood. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know, uh, uh, that shit, it, it, it pisses me off, man. You I know always what I'm saying? Say, like, you yeah. know, like it, 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 uh, it, it makes me want want to uh, act out. You know what I mean? Like, even when I, when I see shit today, dog, when I see racism today, you know, um, it makes me want to act out. You know what I mean? Like, it makes me want to, like, fire on motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Like, and again, I don't think I don't think that's the way. You know what I'm saying? It's not the way, but you got to acknowledge that. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, dog, bro. I'm not, not you. I'm saying a person. Of, of course, of course. Right? And I, I think, man, like, like, yo... It's no, no, nobody is going to acknowledge it more than us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't. I don't. So where are you going with it? I don't understand. Like you're saying, don't. You're saying it's ingrained in you, but forget it. But but no, 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 no. What what I'm saying is is uh, um, I'm I'm not talking about I'm not talking about like uh, uh, like uh, um, uh, f fuck our history. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not saying fuck history. You know, I'm saying I'm saying that you know. It's 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 the same thing I say about religion, man. You know, it's it's that you get so far away from certain things. You know what I mean? Where I believe that they don't apply anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not the same thing. So you're anymore. saying black people's history does do, does not apply? It's talking. It's talking. I'm talking about like this, right? I'm just trying to understand. Right? I'm just trying to give you an analogy. <laughs> it's, right? It's taking so, a while. So look at it. Look at it like this, man. Look at it like this. Um, uh, rap, okay, rap. Now, when it first started, you know what I mean. The shit that we used to listen to, it was one way, right? It was one way. It it, it was it was here, and that was when it was its strongest and its most potent. You know what I mean? But as it as it moves away from the 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 center, you know what I'm saying? Right. It starts to starts to spread out, right? It gets thinner. Okay. You know? It gets thinner, and 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 why? Because you know, before it's this tight knit line. You know what I'm saying? It's this tight knit group where you know, like you know, you couldn't just come in and and get in there any kind of way. You know what I mean? You had to have references. You had to have credentials. You know what I mean? You couldn't just squeeze in through the cracks. Now there's so much space that people people hop in. You know, and 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 they're not asked for. You know, there's so many entrances. You know what I'm saying? There's so many entrances, and so. As as it these things uh, and this goes for anything, but I'm using the rap analogy, right? As things stretch uh, uh, stretch uh, stretch so far from the point of origin, dog, they start to resemble, you know, uh, uh, they start to uh, resemble what what it began as less. You know what I'm saying? So, Until it doesn't resemble it at, at so all. So how does that compare? So what? So how? So that what I'm saying is this, right? What I'm saying is this, right? The black man of today is not the black man of 1950. You know what I'm saying? He he doesn't even look like that. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't even look like that. He doesn't sound like that. And so what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, it this cat has to come from a different book. You see what I'm saying? He but has to come from a different. But the black book. man of today is more like 
the black man of 1950 than a fucking white person. It's like the black man of 1950 is ingrained in you, whether you like to, whether you like I mean, to. Only it, and it, only, only that he's black, bro. No, no, that's only the thing. Black. No, bro, that's where you and I disagree. I disagree with you wholeheartedly. I don't see how you can disagree. You know I, what I'm saying? Be, because look, I deal with black people differently than I deal with white people, differently than I deal with Asians. Everybody I deal with differently based on their fucking past things. The you still remember your grandparents still remember how it was uh, not being able to go to certain fuck. This, like that was the thing with me and Obama. Like the fact that they they called him black wasn't yeah. the same because he didn't have slave ancestry. He came from Africa. He's got a whole different thing ingrained in him. And I don't think you're giving history enough. I don't think you're giving history and culture enough credit because I do shit that my grandfather did, that my fucking that his father did, that his father's father did and don't even realize it. I don't even realize it. That's how deep it is in me. And, That's but, all I'm saying. See, now, what, what you, what you, you know, like these are these are two two separate issues, man. You know what I'm saying? Because one, and we we've we've come to this before, and that's that's the that's the black experience. You know what I'm saying? What is the black experience? You well, it I mean? started off with slavery. It start the black experience started see, but with. See, this is what I'm saying, bro. This is what I'm saying. I there is like, no answer to that. What? There is no answer to that. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, says who? there is says no you? one. There is no says one you? answer to that. Right? There's, there's, there's a, there's a genesis. There is and it no started one answer to that. There's a, genera- there's a genesis can- and it started at slavery, or bro, it started in Africa, bro, and then, bro. and then it goes to slavery. Bro, that is a common. I have that is no the concept common- of slavery other than the fact that I went to prison. You have more of you, you have more of a concept of oppression than I do. Um, but dog, I have I have more uh, of a concept of the black experience than you do. You see what I'm saying? But my concept of the black experience is going to be different than Obama. You just see what I'm he saying? He doesn't have the because black he, experience. He came, what? What black experience? The black American experience. What black experience? You know what I'm saying? Like, dog, there's all kinds of having black experience. Having roots in slavery, bro. Dog, having a roots cat, in a black fucking cat, slavery. A black cat coming up in, in, in uh, uh, Los Angeles, right? It's Through different. the 80s. It's different than a black cat coming up in, in Detroit. I'm not saying they're all the exactly. I'm you not see what saying, I'm saying? Dog. Or coming up in Ohio. Dog. In the 80s. I totally disagree with you. Right? I totally disagree are, with you. These are different experiences. I'm not saying that they're different, but they're coming. They're all coming from a similar place. These are different experiences. They're all coming from and, a different... And that's ex- what I'm saying. The only, thing, the, the, the only thing that's going to be similar in that is the color of their skin. No. You know what I'm saying? No. Because judo, judo, judo. No, dude. We talked about this. We talked about this before. Okay? Let's talk about... Go ahead. Get your final point, but I disagree with you wholeheartedly. We talked about this before, right? You're a white cat that came up in a certain area. You know what I'm saying? And so because of that, you're a product of that area. I'm you partially I'm a product of that area. You're a product of that I'm area. I'm partially a product of that okay? area. Okay. Now, you come up somewhere else, you're going to be a different dude, bro. You come up with different people, you're going to be a different dude. I still am my father's son, and he's his father's son, and he's his father's this son. This is true. As are you. This and is true. That's nature and nurture, and you're fucking. You're you're totally you're to- totally ignoring one of this them. This is this is true. How how is that? no? I think you are. No, I think you are, bro. I think you are, dog. I'm saying I'm saying like you are a product. You are a product of your environment. You are a product of your people as well. You are a product of you know the shit you eat, the shit you watch, the shit you listen to. You see what I'm saying? That makes you a different. This is this is what you're made up of, man. You so know what I'm saying? saying? So- this is what you're made up of. And so, like, being that you have a different set of things, that's going to make you a different person. Me, same, same, me and same you grew up, Me and you grew up the same. Uh, let's say we grew up the exact same way. I'm going to have a totally different outlook than you are because we have different histories. That is, have, that is my point. We and, have and different we have, histories. And we have, a lot of, we have a lot of similarities, too. We have a lot of similarities. Well, we're not agreeing with, now. With, no. We're not agreeing now at all. You know what I mean? Like, so. All right. That we're not gonna agree on this shit. No, and no, we're, we're it, just not. We're not gonna agree on it. it. Like, and I and I really feel like, and and I why? feel like you're in. I feel like you're in denial. No, no, no. I feel like I feel like you're trying to tell me about the black experience. I'm not I'm, trying to tell I'm you about. Black. I'm, I'm. Yo, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying. If you think that slavery, if you if you think that slavery doesn't affect you in some minute way, who said that? 
Then, then you're then that's what all that's all I'm saying. I, I didn't say that, bro. I, I that's didn't all say I'm that. saying. I did not that's say all that, I'm saying. That, that um, that's the that one slavery comment. doesn't have any have any what effect are you on then? us. I'm what not you saying, saying that. What do you? The, that's the what I'm saying. The crack epidemic didn't have any effect on us. I'm not saying that. Not every but not every black person was affected by the crack epidemic. But every black American that came over here as a slave was affected by slavery, dude. And and I haven't said that they weren't. That, I haven't said you that said they that they have. You said that that doesn't matter anymore, and they. And I'm saying the origin no, matters. Bro. I'm saying no, the origin matters. Bro. Go back when, and listen. Yeah. Go back and listen. Go, when you go back and listen to this episode, you know what I'm saying. You'll hear what I was saying, man. I heard. I'm listening to you right now. You'll you started. You started over here. You talked. You talked about rap, and then we disagreed. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll hear what I was saying, man. You know what I'm saying, like. I'm telling you, man. I don't want to talk about it no more, man. I'm like, you, on, it's going to turn into last episode where we're fucking arguing for 20 minutes or talking about politics for 20 minutes. <laughs> well, we've already been on this for a little I, too yeah, long. Uh, yeah. Right? Fucking yeah, um, 30 minute rap story and shit. <laughs> rap story. <laughs> you know, and, you know, and really, really, dog, what I'm talking about is I'm talking about, uh, um, Really, it's like I said. It this this kind of thing applies with with everything, man. It applies with everything. As as shit shit time changes everything, man. Time changes everything. You know, we we we. You know, I agree. I hear what you're saying, but there's. I I think you're giving too much credit to time or time. Not that much time has has passed. Um. Enough. Okay. Right? All right. So there it is. Um. What's your what's your favorite color? Uh, uh, enough. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. <laughs> Pull up an email, something. Um, bro, and it, everything changes us, man. Everything. Will you pull up us. an email, man? You know what I'm saying? Pull up an email, dude. Twenty, twenty years, man. All right, dog. Twenty years doesn't change anything, Judo. You're still stubborn as shit. Twenty. You years? know what I mean? Like we're still, you and I are still the same stubborn motherfuckers that we've been. Oh, now if you want to talk about people, bro. Right, because I I said that right. Here's here's another here's another topic. Just, this is going to uh, switch. This is going to switch topics. Is it right? All this right. is going to switch topics. Okay. Right? Um. Uh, people, man, we don't we don't change. You know what I'm saying? We don't change. You know what I mean? Like individuals, we don't change. You know, like your opinion changes, your mood changes. You know, your expression changes. You know I what I'm saying? I wish we could talk about something like I really do, man. Can we talk about something light, man? Like like what? What you got? I don't right? know. Fucking look up a goddamn email, man. What you? What Please. you got, man? Please. It's gonna turn into the fucking politic hour and shit. <laughs> the Farrelly <laughs> politics show and shit. I'm sorry that I'm not having any more useless sex, and we gotta talk about uh, fucking the government and race relations. <laughs> For the record, you're gonna listen back. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, and you're gonna see. You're gonna see how this this began. <sighs> okay, Ross. Okay. <laughs> um. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything Nothing. I got is pretty serious, man. Is it pretty serious? What are the people talking about? Um. Oh. Oh. No. I. I oh. was in the. I was in the topics. You want to look at the email? Just something. Emails are usually light. My phone. At? <sighs> Emails are usually light. Emails. That's a. Hey, that's the. That's the surefire way to get us to change our goddamn subject. <laughs> that is the sure fucking fire way. We could talk about uh, Gene Hackman in the <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Let's see here. Yeah. I don't know how to look at the emails that are sent to us because... Um, You don't uh, have a setup on your phone anymore? I don't know what I'm doing with this shit. I got it going to two different things. I see. I don't even know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go right here. So, uh, 
Let's get some follow up mail. What's that? Uh, from Kathleen. She had hit us last time, and we answered her. She f- comes back with, uh, hey, guys, thanks for the kind words. Last podcast, Jude, I'm going to pass on the dick pics, but I do appreciate the sentiment. I got, I can take them from a weird angle where it makes my dick look mad big. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all really know how to make a lady feel special. I have two questions. Jude, did you ever smash any of the girls from the Jenny Jones show? I fucked so many of the girls from the Jenny Jones show that they they literally had to sit me down and give me a talking to and tell you not to cuz what would happen is um they fly they'll they'll tape a few shows in a week they'll tape six shows in one week uh three or two two uh two a day for 3 days and they're bringing people in two or three days before the show so I'll be there hanging out and they they're only staying at three or four different hotels mhm and a lot of times they'd have me staying in the same hotel uh, as the girls I'm supposed to make fun of so I'll be down in the hotel lobby bar or some shit like that and I'll holler at one of these bras end up fucking them and then a then day go on the show and make fun of them <laughs> <laughs> so they were like and then uh, there would be a lot of the, I would dog them and then they would cut this shit out they'd be like that's not what you said when you was fucking me last night <laughs> <laughs> so they got they got tired of having to cut that shit out so uh Wendy sat me. Wendy was like some head lady from Jenny Jones, and she sat me down and fucking like uh, she sat me down and and uh, gave me the gave me a little talking to and told me I couldn't fuck anymore at all. No. Not that you were just doing it too much or just not at all. She, she said she, she was like, "Why don't you not fuck anybody?" Well, the she guests. didn't. She didn't say and so and like that. She was like, "We'd appreciate it if you didn't sleep with the guests." Then I started sleeping with the audience members, which was not bad either. Like I, I, I would just smash audience members. Yeah, I'd have them come to the hotel, and yeah. I wouldn't fuck. I wouldn't go to their neighborhood just because I was afraid I was gonna get robbed or some shit like that. Chicago. Chi-Town is weird, man. It's, like, nice, and then you go to areas, and it's, like, the D. It's, like, fucking, it's grimy as shit, man. I've been through that. What what uh, uh what side of town uh was, uh was did they shoot the show on? Down in, in the downtown. Oh, then, okay. Um, uh, that's where they uh, would shoot uh, Oprah, too, right? They shot her closer to the south side. But okay. not all the way, not all the way in the hood. Not all the way in the hood. So yes, I did used to smash chicks on the Jenny Jones show, and then it got to the point so I stopped smashing them. But it would be like porn chicks that come on, so I'd make fun of them, and then I would go masturbate to them. <laughs> like yeah, I made fun of that one, and I fucking jerk <laughs> off. To think about it. Now you get to fuck the porn stars. Yeah, but I quit that because I feel that they're. I f- I think that they all have herpes. Yeah. Just just think about the odds. Like, the odds are they're fucking all these people raw. Yeah. Like, one out of four people have herpes. So I think, I just think about herpes whenever. Is that really the number? One out of four? It's something Or is that just in the sex industry? No, in, like, the people industry. It's something staggeringly high. Let, let me see. I'll look it up right now. Genital one in, herpes. One in four, that is pretty. Maybe, like, uh pretty gosh darn scary genital herpes statistics you ready for this shit mm-hmm. fucking drop science on mm-hmm. you bro I don't know <laughs> science <laughs> it's got a chart and I can't read it <laughs> let me see hold up um, Ask Siri. <laughs> That's a good ass idea. STD facts, general herpes. Hold up. You you want to ask herpes? How common is it? Uh, CDC estimates that annually seven hundred and seventy six thousand people get a new herpes infections every year. Wow. So almost a million people a year. In the United States, uh. It's uh, 16.2. Okay, so it's less than one in four. It's like less, a little bit less than one in five. But then think about this. That's not porn people, dude. Yeah, yeah. I them's, bet you it's 50-50. Them's, uh, yeah, yeah. 
And, you know, it's most likely coming from them motherfuckers. You know? Yeah. I got herpes on my face. I got it from my aunt or my grandmother or my nonni. Yeah, that, that makes me not want to step outside of the sanctity of my marriage. Uh, speaking, speaking of, of which, <laughs> got a leash and a wish. Just a rock you miss. Um, Ross, how'd you meet your wife and what made her special? Um, well, I met my wife um, uh, like over two decades ago. You know what I mean? I met her around the same time that I met Jude. Um, and we, we met at, uh, at a a apartment complex that we uh, used to, well, I, I lived in and her parents stayed and she came over for the summer and that's when I met her. Um, what made her special? Her vagina. Yeah. How long do, how how long did you work on back to get it, to get her? Um, did you fuck really? No, 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 no. Like, uh, I, I knew her like, you know, and we, we got together, you know, at that time and we were the little light boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, teenage love shit. And that was happening for probably like a year. And then, um, then I lost track of her because she, she, uh, moved out, moved out, uh, um, of there. And, um, you know, she went back to like with her grandparents or some shit. And so I lost track of her for two years. And then um, then uh, I met her again in high school. Like, you know, she came for there was two high schools in Pontiac, Michigan. Now there's just one. But there were two high schools and she had been going to the other one, I guess. And then um, she came over to, to where I was at. And I saw her one day and um, I didn't know whether it was her or not. And so I went to the cut and looked up her phone number and it it happened to be the same you know what i'm that saying that was when you could look up a motherfucker's phone number straight up like you know if you still had your phone book you know what i mean like you still had that motherfucker's number right you know like i i probably wouldn't i would have had to holler at her in person right? you know which uh, a lot of that had to happen at right. that time you had to talk to people in person you had to go cut into them come you know, up with something slick to say right you had Get to see it. somebody um but, uh, yeah, it turned out that it, it was her, you know what I'm saying? And, and she tried to act like she didn't know uh, who I was. Um, after y'all was boyfriend and girlfriend for the summer? Yeah, yeah. I oh, mean, like, when, play at this, after this two years, yeah, passed, she, tried you know to play yeah, she tried to be cute, you know? Um, uh, uh, you know, acting like she, she didn't know me. And um, But then, uh, then uh, uh, she came around, I think, like, the very next day, uh... The very next day, me and you went over there. Do you remember that? Yeah, we walked over. She, I remember she was wearing a green like jogging suit or some shit <laughs> <Yeah>. like that. <laughs> one of them, uh, one of them Lee's yeah. joints. You, you could get, a, you could get like that was back when you could go to Kmart or like you know Kohl's or some shit like that and get a jogging. Just right, the jogs and be good. Straight the fuck up, and maybe get the little iron-on letters at the bottom <laughs> of it. You know, get a little saying underneath your shirt, at the bottom of your shirt, and you're that fucking was, fresh. That was so dope time, right? Like, cause you would get those outfits to go to Cedar Point. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody have on matching shits. <sighs> the fake ass, fake ass, uh, fucking uh, short outfits. <laughs> I used to get those over there at uh, Telegraph and Huron from these Korean motherfuckers where I would get like the bootleg Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton joint. I, yeah. You had, had that, that shit too? Yeah. I wish I, I wish I still had that shit. Like those were, I bet you they're collector's items. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The yeah. bootleg, it was, they had bootleg Louis Vuitton, blue, bootleg MCM and it would, you would have, mine was like a little white t-shirt and white shorts and it would have, it had some on the leg and then a big LV on the chest. Yeah, yeah. That's the, I, that's what I had. I had, but my shit was black with the gold lettering. Yeah. The big LV, you know. Uh, your man's uh, uh, Malachi can right. uh, probably get a hold of shit like that. Um, uh, shout out to Malachi the Most High. What's his? What's the name of the Snapbacks dot com. That's uh, Snapbacks B A X dot com. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we uh, we we reconnected, and you know, for I think it was like uh, for six months, I'm hanging out with her. Right. Yeah. I'm hanging out with her. You know what I mean? Like uh, not too long after that, I found out that she had a man. Right. And the shit like 
pissed me the fuck off. So you was hanging out with her, and she had a man the whole time? Yeah, yeah, she had a boyfriend and shit, you know, like, and she's, like, coming over, and, you know, like, I'm, I'm giving her nothing but praise, like, because you remember, there wasn't a lot of females hanging out with us, you know, or that could hang with us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, smoking and drinking and shit. She you was know. good at all that shit. All of it, right? <laughs> she now, still is. Of course, of course, <laughs> she couldn't function yeah. on it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she you would just give her, like, she can drink as much as, 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 as she wanted, and she could right, smoke right. as much as she wanted, but she couldn't function. She would just sit there and, right. you know, be high or drunk. But, um, um, yeah, uh, like I, it came, it came out one day, like I had, you know, had my sister pick her up and, and, uh, my sister hadn't seen her in, in, in some kind of time. And, and, uh, so she said, she's like, oh, so, you know, you and, uh, my brother are back together. And she was like, no, I got a boyfriend. And this is the first time I had heard that shit. And you were in the car with Yeah, her? I'm in the back seat. They're up front, right? I'm like, oh, what? She's like, yeah, I, I told you that. I was like, no, you, the fuck you didn't, mm. right? And so that that kind of that kind of changed shit. You know what I mean? Like uh, it changed how we operated, and um, she didn't want to do anything because of this dude. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm like, you're spending all your time with me. Where you was know, he? Where the fuck time? is he at? Yeah, where was he? You know, like he's uh, across town. You know what I'm saying? Some uh, uh, some hood dude. You know, and. Uh, uh, you know, like she said that he would talk shit about me. You know what I mean? Because she would talk to him about me. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, but he wasn't. He wasn't gonna fuck with me. You know what I mean? Like you know, the, all the people that I had. You right. Know? Um, but uh, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it was it was cool. Like I still liked liked her company and liked having her around. You know what I'm saying? So I kept her around. You know. Um, and then, like you know, especially how how uh, uh, my mind worked at that time is like, okay, well, I'll I'll fuck at some point. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it around because I'd like to have that at some point. You right. Know? Um, and so there was this there was this one time we're out. This is probably like um, this is probably like four five months in you know we're we're out at the mall summit place right and uh, uh, Daryl shout out Daryl um, uh, was working at the shoe store. And he told us to come up. I'm with my cousin, right? Um, cousin and, and Tone, and um, and he told us to come up so we could get hooked up on the shoes, right? Right. Um, uh, and so anyway, we we just get there. We had just walked through the fucking food food court, and like we're slap box when you know the play fight. You know what I'm right. saying? Like slapping, I shoved her, and she shoved me, and then I threw my arm around her, right? And she threw it off of her. And started looking around frantically. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like somebody was going to spot her or some shit. She's walking around with two guys with anyway. Two like, dudes. What did she think? Right? Like, come on. Sorry, it's too late. If they see you with me, like, the what are they going to think? Yeah, it's, it doesn't matter whether your arm's around her or right? not. Like, as far as I'm concerned, you're fucking with her. Like, if I see that shit. So I, I, I froze, right? I froze. I'm looking at her like, you know, which, uh, uh, you know, and I. She's she's still looking around. I, I look at my cousin Dion right, and uh, uh, I was like, "Yo, man, let's roll." All right? We get out to we get out to the car. I had always let her let her sit up front. You know what I mean? Yeah. We got we got to the car. I told Dion to get up front. I didn't say shit else to her. Right? I drove her straight to the cut, pulled up in her driveway. She got out. I peeled out. Right? And I stopped talking to her for um for like two weeks. I avoided her. I was done with her. You know what I'm saying? And she was like calling, calling the cut, calling the cut. And uh, um, I thought she was thought she was gone, thought she had gave up, you know. Uh, so two weeks later, the phone rang. I picked it up and she said some shit like uh, uh, long time, no talk. <laughs> <laughs> long time, no talk, motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, you know. I was like, what? What's up? You know you missed a bitch. What's good? <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, anyway, uh, she she realized what had happened and how she fucked up. You know what I mean? Right. And so, um, so I told her, I told her like, yo, man, I'm not, I'm not fucking around with you anymore. You know, like that's that's done. You know, um, and I think it was if if it hadn't if, if it wasn't that night. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't that, that night, it was that weekend that you got. To she have sex she gave with me her. the pussy. She was all you she had to do was be all you had to do was be mad at her. Right. You could have got pussy I way. To, I had to drop her. You had to be willing to, and that's the crazy shit is, is sometimes you got to be willing to walk away. Yep, and they can smell that shit. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not just talking about women. I'm talking about a job. I'm talking about anything. You if, if you're willing to fucking walk, 
they can tell and right. then suddenly you got the advantage but you really got to mean it you know what I mean you yeah really you got to you got to commit you got to commit there's been times where I'm like yeah all right I'm gonna walk away and see watch it. and then like they can smell they can smell like, my desperation you don't mean it. <laughs> right. they can smell that I'll come crawling back you know what I mean like oh, this is playing and it doesn't come through and then I but then I'm proud so I'm like well fuck that I, well, now I do mean it, and then I end up not getting the pussy, <laughs> or the job, or the whatever, or the whatever. So yeah, um, just tell that girl like whatever. Just tell me where to send the dick pics to, and I'll send them to you. And you you can have dick pics. You can and then, and then hold up, hold up, hold up. But then she says rhythm, just playing. <laughs> that's not funny, Kathleen. Okay? Don't play with. It's don't a, play with his. That's guy, my yeah. word. All right, you either use it seriously or you don't use it at all. You just see that's the problem with words, man. You put them out there, and then people are gonna misuse the words. <laughs> people are like, man, that track is so rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I, I hate that too. Like when cats like will get that shit right back to you. You know what I mean? Like when it for like cats, right? Yeah. Like when I get around motherfuckers, certain cats that don't don't use that, and I'll say say cats like don't give it right back. Like yeah, yeah, it's cats, cats. You know how cats be, and cats using it all the wrong tense. Yeah, and that's yeah. hey cats, uh, are we gonna go? Uh, you cats, uh, hey cats. There's nothing that makes me want to speak proper <laughs> more than when. Um, Someone that an educated friend of mine answers me back in my vernacular <laughs> and they sound so fucking dumb. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, is that how I sound? Like, I need to learn how to speak better. Like, I got to really work on this shit because I'm like, hey, what you about to do? Uh, or I don't even I can't even say uh, something like and I'm like, you know, we just chilling. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, dude, I sound like that. you ever you ever correct them. You ever say anything? I'd just be like, don't say that shit to me, man. It makes it just makes it's me weird. uncomfortable. It's weird to me, man. Like I've got I have friends where my vocabulary has gotten better from hanging out with them and mm -hmm. their vocabulary has gone to shit. Like I'm definitely a lot of times I'm ruining like for you, you you're good with words and shit like that. So people will people will benefit from having a conversation with you. Mm-hmm. But I will ruin your vocabulary. You know what I, I know. Mean? That's where I got that magnetic from. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, we're sixty-two minutes into this bitch. Um, we have another mail. We can get it. Next, you want it next, just, next time? Just next, get it week. next time? Next week? Next week? As in next hour? <laughs> as in we're about to tape another one, and then we act like it's it's another week. But we do two of these a week. Yeah, cause you never know. Like uh, you never know when you when you need one on deck. Mm -hmm. We didn't even talk about the McDonald's strike or none of that shit. No, no, we didn't. Um, um, well, let's speak on it. Let's speak on it. The now? McDonald's strike. You want to speak on an hour? Yeah. Or why, why not? I guess so. Right, yeah, cause it's, it'll yeah, be cause fucking yeah, old. Be, yeah. What do you think? In two weeks, the do you strike think will be over? <laughs> yeah. In two weeks, the strike will be done. <laughs> I man, I don't know where I'm at with it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I everybody wants more money, man. Everybody wants more money. You know, regardless of how much money you're getting, yeah, you everybody want more. wants more. You want more, and a lot of people like I deserve more. You yeah, I mean? like, yeah. Like I'm getting only this for that. You know, like, shit. It's it's um, it's uh, uh and you know, and, and like you were saying, man. You know what I mean? Like. These jobs are these jobs are made for a certain thing, you know what I mean? And they've always been a certain thing, right? As as somebody's first job, a teenager's first job, you know what I mean? Like these these are what these things are, are made for. Unless you're in a position of uh, uh, management or middle management or something like that, right. you know, you know, or you're trying to own your own McDonald's and shit, you know what I mean? Like you're just passing through. It's you should like, be. Yeah. It's like retirees. I used to work with retirees and college students and teenagers and then like maybe like some ex con hood dude that would get bust in, that would bust in from Detroit and his rent was mad low, so it made sense for him to work there because I was getting I was I was working in a, a nice McDonald's in Rochester. Mm -hmm. So the so so the pay rate was higher. But it's it's you're attracting a different kind of person, man. Like and and the pay the pay grade 
reflects that. This this is these are jobs for teenagers, yeah. man. These these jobs are for these are jobs for people that yeah. don't need to support a family. It's not it's not a skilled trade, right? Yeah, you can't you can't take that you can't take that anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like you, other than uh, you, can, the only place you can take that is to another McDonald's. That's, you know what I'm yeah, saying? And, yo, <laughs> and yo, like I've worked fast food. I worked, I worked Arby's, McDonald's, Boston Chicken, F- Kentucky Fried Chicken, mm-hmm. and I was pretty good at my job within two days. Yeah, you know, I was, you know I mean? was like, McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell. Uh, so yeah, you guys are hearing from people that worked in fast food. It's not like we never, de- ne- like we never seen this world, right? It's All like right. yo, this is this is, and the, here's the deal: we're not making shit in America anymore. So you got all this labor that would be going over to a factory or something like that. Mm-hmm. They're going into the service industry, and it's just not paying as much, dude. I'm sorry. That's that's just what it is. That's, you're not supposed to be there for long anyway. OK, you're supposed to be moving through until you get a better job, until you until you get your, your 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 shit together. I mean, the reason the reason it's supposed to be for teenagers, their first job, you know, what I mean, because it's 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 bringing them into the workforce. OK, yeah. here's what you can expect. This you is know? Yeah. you got to be here at a certain time. You answer this, this dude. You, you might want to dress like that, but you got to dress like this. These are all like these are all things that you learn. Here's your check. Yeah. They they take taxes out of your check. Yeah. yeah. It's like, man, I work all these hours and I get right. this. Like this, fuck, that sucks. Welcome. I don't want to I don't want to be doing this forever. That's <laughs> right. that's what this whole job is. That whole job is like, I don't want to be doing this forever. <laughs> you motherfuckers want a wage where you want to be doing it forever. Straight up. It's not a fucking career. It's not a career. And if it is your career, then like maybe you shouldn't have cable. And this, maybe you should truth. have so many fucking kids. The truth. And maybe you don't need two cars. The truth. I mean, like, that's, yo, if that's, if that, they, like I was saying, uh, they was over there protesting, speaking Spanish in the protest. I'm like, <laughs> you're not even going to bother to learn English. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. You're not helping your case. This is true, man. Like, you know, yo, and and I understand, man. I, I understand, like, you know, like, uh, they were saying, you know, um, cats make less than the uh, than the, the, the poverty average, you know what I'm saying, for a family of four. And yeah, I mean, that's fucked up. It is. And, like, right? and really, like, seven bucks an hour ain't shit. Like, that's what I was getting paid back in the day. I was, my first job was five, and then I went up to seven. Yeah. But how old were you? I was, well, I was 15, 16, right. 17. That was a lot of money to you. Well, yeah, that, that's what I mean. Well, that, I guess, yeah, that's the that, and that's, that's that's the point. Yeah, it's like, yo, dude, like this is not eighteen five to a grown motherfucker. I, you know, like you're if you're in your thirties, you know, and you're making eighteen five, like yo, that says something about your life. You know what I'm saying? But for a fifteen year old, a sixteen year old making eighteen five, that's good money. Yeah, you don't got you barely got any expenses, and even if you do, like like there was there was a while I, I worked. Th- that was the other thing. I was working three jobs. You yeah. know what I mean? McDonald's yeah. was just one of those jobs. I had right. I had three. I had two other jobs, and I was washing windows on top of that. Straight up, it's like you think I was I was a teenager. I wasn't just waiting for McDonald's to pay me. And here's the deal, like. You think you deserve that? Well, guess what, man? I hate to. I, you're not looking at the owner side of things. The owner has to put up. The owner has to put up all the risk. The owner has to put up money for the owner's ass is on the line. If this shit doesn't work out, this he's fucked. If it doesn't work out for you, you go to the other McDonald's and get another goddamn right. job. Right. So yeah, the risk reward is going to be higher for the goddamn owner. He's putting up the money, dude. Mm-hmm. You're you're putting up your time. And uh, and I hate to break it to you. Time at that isn't as valuable as time as a doctor. Even time as a fucking you're not you're not a coal miner. <laughs> it's you, the truth. You're man. not like doing some it's dangerous the shit. You know, it's you the flip truth. Fucking you're burgers. flipping burgers. You're dipping fucking uh, uh, fries into in, into a vat of grease and pushing a button. That's what you do. And let's be real, half of y'all motherfuckers aren't even good at that. Like I don't know how many times you fucked up my orders. <laughs> I don't know how many times they fucked up my <laughs> you know orders. What I mean? Get your customer service together. Let's talk about that yeah. before we start protesting. Yeah, I'm, you know I'm I mean? protesting that you can't speak English and can't don't understand no pickles. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why do I need a fucking interpreter so that I can get the goddamn my order right here at McDonald's? <laughs> Why are you double you know? dipping fries for Ross? Right. When I ask for no salt on my fucking fries, don't double dip my shit, thinking I don't know. Right? He knows. 
He knows. You know? That's that's what it is, man. That's what it is. Like you know, I I uh, like I, I feel you. I feel you. You want more money? I want more money. Hey, seven dollars an hour ain't right. I hope you get more. But come on, fifteen bucks an hour? Fuck off. Fifteen dollars an hour? Oh, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> fuck you. You're not making cars, my man. Okay. And, and, yo, you know what's shitty? Yo, the cost of y'all need to that, other people. It's a bigger problem. Like the oh shit, it's over. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.